This is Supiot News with the Man. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so this is just a quick update, uh, just to say that uh, if you're watching this, you're probably already aware, but there's been a massive 400 meter, 200,000 gross ton a container ship stuck in the Panama Canal for the better part of a week. I think it's six days. Well, the good news is uh, I can confirm that that vessel has now been freed and it is now continuing to uh, transit the canal. And um, it is just about to head into the Great Bitter Lakes, which is a bit of ir irony there, isn't it? And probably going to get pelted with rotten fruit from all of the other vessels that are stuck in there waiting to head southbound. So uh, yeah, so it's been freed. Um, they brought in a specialist uh, team uh, called Schmidt Salvage, and um, and they seemed to know what they were doing because they did, they were talking about all kinds of things, weren't they? Like removing the um, containers, uh, not even sure how to do that. Mobile equipment, and then putting them on the sides of the canal to be collected later, and about dredging underneath the vessel. But it turns out all it needed was a proper team. Uh, who knew what they were doing. They went down and uh, got it free pretty quickly, despite the winds still being high. So the, the original reason for the vessel uh, going off course and crashing into the side of the canal was high winds. Now in the comments section of my last video, amongst all the QAnon stuff, which, is, which had me laughing, I must admit, um, there was quite a lot of stuff about winds wouldn't blow a vessel of this size don't underestimate the power of the wind. And this vessel is completely flat-sided. So, yeah. Also remember that the vessel was actually headed northbound. So a lot of people might have assumed it was headed southbound based on the position. But it was actually headed north, hit the canal side on the port side of the vessel, and then flipped the, the stern around and ended up in that position almost facing southbound, right? So they, they, um, they dug out the bulbous bow they, uh, and they used the tugs to push on one side, pull on the other, managed to get it freed. So the vessel's headed now to the Netherlands, which, is, which was the original uh, intended destination of the vessel. Uh, the details, specific details of what the team did uh, at the moment, I don't know. I'm sure there'll be some video footage that comes out at some point. But like I said, it, it seems like it's just just needed some people who knew what they were doing to, to get down there. The, one of the other things to point out is that because of the blockage, a lot of vessels had already been redirected to go around the, the Cape of Good Hope, around the bottom of uh, Africa and up, up through the Atlantic. Uh, so those vessels will already have been dispatched. Now those vessels that, would that, that are headed around there, the, the cost uh, to get those around there is about three times the cost of going through the canal. So those uh, companies are really gonna pay for that. Uh, I'm sure that'll be passed on to the uh, customers eventually, somehow. All right guys, so that's good news. It's a good ending to that um, situation. Uh, there was a lot of, um, after I talked about the QAnon stuff, there was a lot of people in the comments got upset. For one reason or another, some people laughed it off, uh, you know. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna end this video However, I'm going to do a QAnon update. Now, if you don't want it, if you feel like you're going to get offended by it, I would say end the video now. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so if you're still hanging around, that means you want to know what's going on with QAnon. Apparently, um, I've been told, reliably informed, that there is no such thing as QAnon. There is only Q and Anons. So Q is the head guy, apparently. And Anons are people who follow him. So uh, I apologize if I offended any people watching. Um, I just wanted to go into this. Now, look, as far as what you want to believe, I, no, I, it doesn't concern me. But when it strays into a topic that I know about, then I will address it step by step. And we'll go through it and we'll talk about the problems with the, the conspiracy theory in this instance. Now, apparently... Uh, this was a white hat operation, which means that the uh, QAnon people wanted to expose Hillary Clinton, Captain Cl Hillary, uh, and um, her ship. And so they deliberately crashed it into the side of the canal. That's the conspiracy. Okay. And they did this by 
um, by radar. The radar and the autopilot were hacked by satellite. So uh, there's a couple of problems with that. When you go into the canal, you don't... First of all, you have a pilot on board. The pilot is a qualified captain. He works for the Egyptian government and he, all he does is transit the canal to every day. So he'll, one day he'll go up, next day he'll come down, up, down, up, down, that's it. He's in control of the vessel while he's on board. Well, he's in control on the bridge, that is. And the second thing is autopilot is not used in the canal because it's such close quarters, you need somebody on the wheel. So it's always a red zone on the bridge for maneuvering when you're going through the canal. So the idea that they hacked into the radar or the, or the autopilot, it doesn't make any sense. And also, because it's under manual control, if, even if they did hack into those things, it just means that they would just do it by sight. So that's, that's, uh, there's a couple of problems there. Um, okay, so the next thing is the, um, one of the comments I got uh, he said that Hillary Clinton's Secret Service call sign was evergreen. I, I never denied that. What I was what I was skeptical about is that Hillary Clinton, in a retirement from government, would then use her, her call sign and paint it on the side of a ship, 200 meters long. The ship's 400 meters long, but the sign is, you know, 200 meters long. Why would you do that? If you wanted it to be, if you're, if you're saying that you don't own it, oh no, it's not my ship. Yeah, I know it has my Secret Service call sign written on the side, but it's not my ship. Second thing is, the call sign for the vessel is Hotel 3 Romeo Charlie. So if you remove the three, because you know, because it's not, it doesn't, the, the three doesn't mean anything, because it doesn't mean anything, but the HRC is Hillary Rodden Clinton's initials. So that's another thing that it points towards her. Now, the call sign is issued by the government of the flag state. So in this case, Panama, the, re the vessel is a Panama registered vessel. The Panamanian government, when the vessel was registered, they will give that call sign to the vessel. So or again, also, why would Hillary Clinton wanting to keep a big secret, put a code sign on the side of the vessel and give her initials as the call sign? Doesn't make any sense. All right, now, the next thing is, uh, apparently, directly behind this, uh, the vessel when it got stuck was a US-registered Maersk Denver called Whiskey Mike Delta uh, Quebec. So that was the call sign. It wasn't called that, but it was, that's the call sign. So the, I don't know what relevance that is. Maybe it's because it says WMD. Maybe it has weapons of mass destruction on it, and they, and they, and they put that in the call sign. And the Q, maybe that's to do with QAnon, I don't know. Don't know about that one. Uh, and also behind Evergreen is a vessel called, <laughs> called Mossad 2. Uh, again, uh, this, uh, the, the Panama Canal is in Egypt. Um, if you think that the Israelis would send down the secret police into their, in a vessel named after their um, branch, I think that's highly unlikely. And um, as the, you know, the Egyptians and the Israelis don't get along too well. And then there's another vessel called Baraka One. So because that sounds like Barack Obama, it must mean Barack Obama. So, so not only has Hillary got a ship named after her, which is secretly transiting the canal full of children, but Barack Obama's vessel is right behind escorting it. Well, those two vessels, by the way, they were both tugs that were trying to free the container ship. And they're both registered in Egypt. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I've grown on quite a long time. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, put your comments below. Like I said, I'm not trying to disparage anyone or make fun of anyone. But, you know, I'm just going on the evidence and pointing out the flaws in this conspiracy theory. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time. All right, bye-bye.